guys, Tracy here with another edition of Out With The Old Kit. So this is my summary of my November 2012 scrapbooking um, using Studio Calico's Sock Hop Kit and I also had the Penny Loafers and Poodle Skirt add-ons and so I, I don't normally get two add-ons so I had way more supplies than usual and I also had way more other scrapbooking tasks that I had to do this month. I think I did a total of seven non-Studio Calico layouts um, this month so I got seven layouts out of my kit. Um, I probably, well I definitely could have gotten more layouts out of it. Um, because I just had so many supplies, so I've got a lot of leftovers, so I nowhere near killed this kit. Um, but I certainly had a fun time using it, and I scrapbooked all that I planned to scrapbook for the month of November, so that's good. All of these leftovers are going to go into my stash, and I will probably use them at some point. Um, some of them sooner, sooner than others, but I did like everything in this kit, so I'll be keeping it all. So what I'm going to show you is... Um, I would have just shown you the review, actually hang on, maybe what I'll do first is I'll show you the review of what was in the kit and then I'm going to show you my leftovers. So stay tuned for a quick review of what was in the kit. Okay, it's a Studio Calico kit opening day, so I'm going to show you guys this stuff really quick. There are other people who reviewed in detail, but this is just kind of like it for before and after purposes, so I'm trying to go quicker each month. I love these papers. Love, love, love. I am going to have so much fun with this. So this month, this is the main kit that I'm going to show you right now, and I actually got two add-ons. Oh, I was such a sucker and I should not have done this. Um, I bought the Penny Loafers add-on because I really, I mean, I always love the add-ons. The papers are nice and the embellishments are nice, so usually whether or not I buy the add-on depends on the stamp. So I liked the stamp set in Penny Loafers. So on reveal day I got the penny loafers um, and then of course they had that silly coupon that gave you ten dollars off a kit if you did the survey and how can you not buy another add-on when it's ten dollars off so ugh, I bought the other kit, the other add-on I couldn't decide at first I couldn't decide between poodle skirt and penny loafers so when I got the coupon for the ten dollars off I already had ordered the penny loafers so I got the poodle skirt so what I'm showing you right now is the um, is the main kit which is called sock hop and it's the main kit for November these are the papers they're awesome it includes one of these vellum sheets which I love I never buy those so when they come in a kit I'm excited Okay guys, so here's all the pattern paper lined up together. We've got 17 We've got 17 pieces of pattern paper, one piece of pattern vellum, and four pieces of cardstock. There it is. And there's the back side. So, holy paper overload. I don't know how I'm going to use all this. I'm going to have to quit my job and just scrapbook all month. We have five sets of letter stickers. We have six packages of sticker-ish types of paper embellishments as well as some die cuts and tags and that sort of thing. We have three stamp sets. We have, getting to the end now, all of these kind of assorted 
Um, oh, another die cut there. All of these assorted kind of hard dimensional types of embellishments. So those. And that's my kit. Thanks for watching. We'll see what I come up with. Okay, so now that you had a look at what was in the kit, this is what my leftovers are. So I'm going to start with paper. So I, um, oh, I wanted to use this so much and I didn't. I love that this paper is kind of changes from blue to green. I really, really love that. Um, I tried to use a strip of it, but I didn't end up using it. So I still have a whole piece of this Vivid 06, uh, which I almost definitely will cut into its little pieces um, because I don't think I'm going to be able to use it as a background. It's just a little bit too busy and you can't really appreciate that it changes um, unless if you see the whole sheet. Livy, you're really hurting my back. Thank you. All right. Livy's here beside me. So I have a, a full sheet of that. I just Hi. It. <laughs> um, and so I like to go through what I have full sheets of just to get a sense of, you know, what, oops, there's a there's a couple of embellishments in here. So it looks like I don't have many full sheets. I have this one in a full sheet. This is a piece of Soho Garden by American Crafts. So I didn't cut into this. I think this paper is really pretty, but I just didn't get a chance to use it. Um, and then I have a piece of this which is Fifth and Frolic. This is a piece of Fifth and Frolic by Dear Lizzie, the piece with the triangles. I love this. I'll definitely use it. I just haven't used it yet. And then I'll just show you some of my scraps. So I've got a pretty big piece of this that I will definitely use. I'm always, I love these wood grain chevron pieces, so I will definitely use this. I wasn't crazy about this paper, but this I really like for matting. I think it has a really nice vintage look, that stripe is um, very vintage-y. I don't know if it's the scale or the color, but I really like that for matting. So I've got a couple of little squares that I can easily use um, as well as this big piece for matting things in the future. So I'll sort that by color into my scraps. I always hang on to this kind of stuff because I like these for embellishments with the negative punches on it. Livy's showing you guys that I've got some more of this arrow paper, which I really like. I'll definitely use that. And then any kind of grid paper is always really useful for project life. I could cut this up into four by sixes or three by fours, but I also really like this. So I won't do that yet because I do, I'll put this in my pink bin. Put these all in my neutrals bin. It was fun when you put the red lights in the front lights. That was fun, was it? Okay, so I've got another piece of the chevron, and I've got um, lots of this basic gray number paper, which I love. This is going in my red pile um, because I love this. This makes a great accent, but because it makes a great accent, I didn't use all that much of it. And um, I wasn't really crazy about this blue paper, um, so I didn't use much of it. And then this yellow chevron also makes a really great accent, so I'll be using more of that. So these are, you know, the kinds of scraps that I'm happy to have, like this, and this, and this. Like, I will use this stuff up no problem. I'm always looking for more of those kinds of shapes, and then the rest of the stuff will certainly get used. I just, you know, I'll file it away into my scraps. So, now those are my scraps for paper, and I'll show you what embellishments I had left over. So I had, um, the entire length of this wood grain banner, which will go into my embellishments drawer. Um, I really like this. I think it would look cute. Um, the light bulb doing in the garbage. Uh, my lights are burnt out. I only have th one instead of three. Um, so this would look really nice with layering. So I'm going to put that in my embellishment package. Um, of course, my stamps will go in with my stamps. So. I always keep them. I have lots and lots of these Dear Lizzie Fifth and Frolic um, cardstock pieces. Lots and lots, like I might have only used two or three of these out of the whole package. But I also have the Fifth and Frolic paper collection on its way to me, um, so I will get to use this. 
when I have the collection, I will probably be wanting some of the, oops, this is L Studio, it's not. That was from my stash, it just got put back wrong. So I have lots of those. I have lots of these pink paisley um, tabs. I think I'm gonna have to start storing my tabs somehow separate from the rest of what I have. Um, so that's that. And now look, let's look at the other embellishments that I have left. Ooh, I have plenty goodness. of wood feathers. Aren't they cute? Plenty of them. Would you like one or two of those? Yeah. Okay, which you pick out two. This one. Those two? Okay. Good choices, the ones with the details on them. Very uh -huh. nice. Okay, so there's that. And then I've got a few enamel dots. I always use up the big, the small enamel dots. I'm always left with big ones. Mm. They're cute, aren't they? I like the yellow ones. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? I've got lots of washi tape left, as I always do. Um, a couple of little scraps of those banners. Ooh. They're cute, aren't they? They're um, pretty. Lots of the triangles, lots of buttons, buttons, a couple of brads, a couple of brads. And then I've used up a lot of these stickers. I'm going to send that to Sarah because she has a boy. It's got a picture of a boy on it. I think she'd like that. Um, so I used, there's no A's, there's lots of E's though, and so, you know, I, I got a good amount of use out of these and I'll probably get more use out of them. I have lots of these vellum strips. These will go in my border drawer. I keep a drawer of just borders, um, so they'll go in my... Could you do that for me? If you look over there, you'll see one of those drawers that has the word border on it. Can oh. you put those yeah. in it for me? Thank you. I see it. Great. These stickers have a nice fall theme. We're kind of past fall, but I might use them next year. And some of them are not themey. They're nice colors. Ooh. I still have plenty of Hello. these snow cone mini market stickers. Uh, Isn't that cute? Do you want that sticker? Uh -huh. You can have that sticker. I'll probably never use a squirrel sticker. Although, you know what? I might use that squirrel sticker. Do you know why? Because a squirrel got into my car and I'm going to journal about it in Project <laughs> Life. So I'm going to keep that. Pick another one. Pick another one that you like besides the squirrel. I didn't think I'd ever have a use for a squirrel sticker. You, you pick okay. and I'll show my letters. So I've still got plenty of these left. There's lots of E's and lots of A's. I still have plenty of these left. And it's, I didn't even touch these. If you hear that scratching, that's just Charlie running. It's Charlie. He has big nails. Yeah, he needs that his nails. That scratch against Put. the floor. We need to bring him to the groomers, don't we? Ooh. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys the layouts that I made with this kit. So you saw my leftovers. This is what so I've created. This is... This is my sister Sophie. Yeah, this is a layout about Sophie. And uh, this one uses, I think, every single thing on this is from the kit. So there's a process video for this, so you'll be able to check it out and see that if you're interested in it. And then this Harlem, New York is the next layout that I made. Everything on this except for the, the doily and the glitter paper were from my stash, but everything else is from the kit. Yeah, there's a picture, one of those. Ooh. Yeah, and there's the tape. There's lots of um, feathers on this layout. There's three feathers. Can you spot them? One, two, three. That's right. And I cut apart the wood grain paper on this one too. That was fun. This is another one where I think everything comes from the kit. It's called The City Awaits Us. There's a process video for this. So this is the third one that there is a process video for. There's no process video for this one. This one I did for the Studio Calico Sunday Sketch on their blog. Um, so this one is all from the kit, except there, uh, some of these die cuts were from previous kits. And the, the thickers were, not, were just from my stash. So there's no um, process video on this one. Yeah, we're not going to put those on. <laughs> Thanks, though. Um, and then this one is one of my recent process videos. <laughs> Take those off, you clown. <laughs> Um, this is what the stickles looks like dry on this. You would have seen the stickles wet when I showed it in my process video. So those are distressed stickles, so they don't have the same kind of shine that, um, yeah, 
that the shiny stickles have. And then what I did was because I have some glitter in the letter stickers, I wanted to put some extra glitter on the page. So I just added some platinum glitter to these stars. So everywhere there was a star, I had distress stickled them, but I just went back and added a tiny little bit of um, platinum stickles just to increase the shine on it so it would tie in. So that just so that this ARZ. This is her. Yeah, that's me. That Just so that the ARZ wasn't the only thing glittery on the page. And then this is my next time layout, which is my favorite layout that I've made in a really long time. I love this layout. I love everything about this how it turned out. This way. Yeah, this way to the Guggenheim. So I didn't do any journaling on this one because it's kind of like the picture and the title kind of says it all. I don't have anything else to say. Um, and sometimes I think less is more. So yeah, there you go. Almost the same one. Almost. Mm -hmm. Okay. But these two would go that way. Yeah, they go there. They're mirror images. So there's a process video on this one. And then this is my most recent one. It's about the Flatiron Building in New York City. And I this is the picture that I took when I was in New York. And then this is a picture from the internet, from Wikipedia, of the Flatiron in 2000, or sorry, in 1903. So over 100 years ago, almost 110 years ago. Um, and it's black and white. It's printed on overhead transparency. So it just, I just kind of wanted to do that. I don't know why it doesn't, you can't really tell, but I like it. You can no. see the polka dots behind, behind it from the Swiss dot paper. Oh, and yeah. then this is my pull out tag. Oh, <laughs> I know it's quite cool. a tag, eh? <laughs> Quite a layering of tags. So this note talks a this. little. Yeah, it says note this information. Um, and so I just wrote down lots of information Ooh, from can Wikipedia. I read? Well, it's kind of long for reading. I think this well, video is getting really long. It's re you read it. Okay, okay, hold it so that they can see it, um, so they can read along. Okay. The Flatiron or Ful Fuller concert building you. building was. Considered. Considered to be a groundbreaking skyscraper. Upon come. Give it a try. Uh, competition. Close. Completion. Completion in. 1902. In 1902. It was one of the tallest buildings in the city and one of only two skyscrapers north of 14th Street. Yeah. The name Flat Iron derives derives from its re resem yeah. resemblance. Yeah, resemblance. Resemblance to a ca cast. cast iron cat. Cats. Clothes. Clothes iron. Yeah, that's my sp my printing more than yeah. It's clothes. I know. Good reading. Okay, put her in there. Good job. And the note to self goes over the picture. Note this goes under. And then note to self goes over. Just like that. And now there, there it is. It says pull. Yeah, so that you know to pull it up. Very good. So that's what I created this month. Thanks so much for watching everybody. And there are there are process videos for all for six out of these seven. So if you haven't if you've missed any or anything, uh, be sure to go back and check them out. Ooh. I think most of these are on my blog by now. Maybe not the last one, but uh, most of them are on my blog. Bye! Bye.